Hey, welcome. Today we're talking about ignitability, and in particular, spark plug ignitability. Now the word ignitability really just means exactly the way it sounds. It's the ability to ignite the air-fuel mixture that's been squeezed up on the compression stroke inside of the cylinder. The higher the overall ignitability, the more complete and efficient that combustion event can happen. Now there's a lot of things that affect ignitability. There's cylinder head designs, the swirl of the mixture, the way the fuel is injected and atomized, those all can affect ignitability. But overall today, what we're gonna be discussing is the spark plugs design to increase the overall ignitability. And really what we're changing here is the end, the firing end or the spark plug tip design. So a big change that happened quite a while ago now was the move to a fine wire center electrode. This was really one of the largest steps of going away from that standard large center electrode to a very small fine wire. Now this required going to a precious metal to increase its overall longevity, because if we took that standard nickel alloy electrode, it would never last as long if we were to shrink it down to that small fine wire. Now in this video here, it may look like that standard spark plug has a hotter spark or it's creating more sparks, but in reality, if you actually look at it, here you can see a standard plug versus an iridium fine wire. You can see that electric field intensity is much stronger on an iridium plug, and that's because the spark isn't dancing all over the place. It's in one concentrated area, creating a, a stronger overall spark, increasing our cylinder's overall ignitability. Now here are some intermediate ignitability plug examples. These are spark plugs that have a standard design ground electrode. So it may be a trapezoid cut or a tapered cut or maybe an oval ground electrode, but we don't have anything else in particular sticking out of that electrode. And then on our center wire there, it is a fine wire center electrode. So this may be like a G power plug or an Iridium IX plug, or even some of our laser OE series are going to be intermediate ignitability spark plugs. So the biggest difference between a standard plug and the fine wire plug will be the expansion of that flame kernel or that, that explosion that we have happening inside of the cylinder. You can see here just how much faster that fine wire plug is able to ignite the mixture. We have a smaller center electrode, so we're quenching less or we're absorbing less of that flame front. And then also we're creating a hotter spark inside of that cylinder. So from our intermediate single fine wire spark plugs, we move into our high ignitability designs. These are all gonna use a single fine wire center electrode with some sort of adaptation done to the ground electrode. You can see a SPE or square platinum electrode has a small platinum chip mounted into the ground electrode. We have a DFE, dual fine electrode, which is another fine electrode tip on the ground electrode. And then we have a PSPE or projected square platinum electrode that's gonna take a platinum chip and stick it out the end and shave that, that ground strap back a little bit. These are our highest ignitability spark plug designs. These are going to be the most efficient inside of the cylinder. And then also, we also have a hybrid DFE, which is exactly like the DFE in the center with two additional ground electrodes on there. So these are our highest ignitability designs because we've seen engine changes over the years. We went from the 90s and 2000s running around the nine or 10 to one compression ratio. And that was, that was pretty normal back then. But today on today's cars, if we're looking at just your typical passenger car, four door sedan, here you can see a Mazda 6 that's running 13 to one or a Chevy Cruze that has the ability to, to run at 16.5 to one for compression ratio. Those higher ratios for compression increase our cylinder temperature and they make it harder to ignite our, our mixture. We need to use higher ignitability plugs inside of the engines. So why did these engines change? What made us get these, these higher compression engines? Well, really it's, it's the emissions, power, and fuel economy that are the major, the major driving factors. CAFE or corporate average fuel economy is always increasing, so we need to have our cars be more fuel efficient. And then users or, or drivers of vehicles want their vehicles to have more power, but also get the best fuel economy. So for example, an 84 Mustang with the five liter V8 put out about 170 horse while getting about 20 miles per gallon. A 2018 five liter Mustang puts out 460 horsepower by only dropping one mile per gallon. So a much more efficient engine, but with that extra horsepower, we need a spark plug that can handle it. Let's look at a 
standard passenger car, 1990, two liter four cylinder, only 115 horse while getting a pretty good 24 miles per gallon. But now we fast forward that 28 years to a 2.5 liter four cylinder, we're getting 203 horse, so almost 100 horsepower more, and we're getting 10 miles per gallon greater with this car. So we're seeing these changes. These changes that are happening on these engines make them harder on our spark plugs. This higher power, higher compression, even adding turbos or superchargers requires more spark energy and it requires more of our spark plugs. Plus our engines today are running leaner than they have ever have before. So there's being a lot more required from our spark plugs. We need to run high ignitability designs. Here you can see the flame front difference on all four spark plugs from our iridium platinum plug there that's intermediate ignitability through our three uh, our three high ignitability designs here. And you can see that from the start to the three millisecond mark, there's a significant difference in that, that flame event that's happening inside of the cylinder. So really the question comes of, does the spark plug type matter? Well, th I think this is a perfect giveaway or a perfect example as to why it matters. Here you can see your standard ignitability spark plug at uh, the beginning of combustion and then three milliseconds, intermediate ignitability and high ignitability. The pictures speak for themselves. A high ignitability spark plug, significantly larger flame front inside of that cylinder than a standard ignitability. Now keep this in mind, if you're taking a high ignitability spark plug out of a car, that vehicle was designed and engineered to run that high ignitability spark plug. You don't wanna be putting a standard spark plug back in there because it might result in lower fuel economy, lack of power. You may even get a check engine light on for putting in the wrong spark plug in an engine that was designed and engineered at a specific level for a high ignitability spark plug. So keep that in mind when you're looking for spark plugs for your car. It's always okay to kind of take the next step up, right? Go from an intermediate ignitability to high or even standard ignitability to high ignitability. Those are all upgrades and they're gonna be better for your vehicle overall. You're gonna get longer life out of the plug and the efficiency inside the cylinder will be much greater but you don't wanna work your way backwards. Your engine wasn't engineered or designed to run on anything other than a high ignitability plug if that's what it's running from the factory. So here you can see the OEM vehicle manufacturers are trending all towards the high ignitability plug design. Back in 2008, the majority of, of spark plugs were a traditional uh, standard ignitability or intermediate ignitability. As we move forward here, you can see that the high ignitability plugs are making a huge change to the, to the market. The SPE plug there is showing the largest change trending through, um, through the coming years. PSPE is also making a change. The DFE one is, is pretty steady, but we're seeing a good amount of growth in these different high ignitability designs right from the OEM. So again, keep this in mind when you're looking for spark plugs. If you're getting, or if you're pulling out a high ignitability spark plug, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put a high ignitability spark plug back in. All right, so thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.